To finish off our part, we're going to add some holes through it. First, I'm going to select this face down here, and I'm going to make the holes using Extrude Cut. So I'll say Extrude Cut, use my mouse gestures to activate circle. I'm going to draw two circles here. I'll push Escape to stop, and I'll look normal to them. I'll make these two circles equal, and I'll also put them on center, so they'll be vertical. Then I'll fully define them with dimensions. Their diameter will be 0.225. The top one will be an inch and a half down. And then there'll be two and a half inch spacing between the holes. So my sketch is fully defined. I'll right click and exit the sketch. I'm going to rotate around a bit so I can see and I'm going to tell it the end condition is through all, so it goes through both, and that it's a normal cut. I'll say OK. And if I look at the flat pattern, we'll see the holes are in both flanges. And I'll flip it back and say OK. okay. So I also want two more holes through this side and two holes through each of the top. So I'll select this face. I'll do an extrude cut again. I'll look normal too. Activate circle, draw my two circles, push escape, and I'll add the relationships of equal, and the centers will be horizontal. I'll activate smart dimension. Again, these are going to be 0.225 diameter holes from the bottom face to the center will be inch and three quarters. From center to center of the hole will be two inches and then from the origin to one hole center will be one inch so they're fully defined I'll right click and exit the sketch I'm going to rotate around a bit and once again I'll make these through all say OK and have a look at the flat pattern flat pattern looks good I'll stop and then my last holes are going to be on this face and this face. So I'm going to select this face. I'll look normal too. And I prefer not to use the simple hole. I find it quicker just to use an extrude cut when in sheet metal. But we'll examine the simple hole later. So again, I'm going to keep doing extrude cut. I'm going to activate the hole. Sorry, activate the circle. And I'm going to create my four circles. Push escape to stop, and then I'm going to activate line. Create a line here, double click to stop, come over here, create another line, push escape. I'm going to select both lines while holding control and make them construction lines. So now I can do several things. While holding control, I'm going to select all my circles. I'm going to make them equal. These two circles, I'll start that again. This circle and this circle will be horizontal, as will these two. Try that again, just get the center. I'll make it horizontal. These two will be vertical. And I can select these and this center line and add symmetry. And again, I can select these two circles and this center line and add symmetry. So I'll dimension again 0.225 diameter circles and then the distance from center to center is two and three quarters and then I'll dimension from this edge to the center of one of these circles. This is a quarter We'll push escape to stop dimensioning. I have one hole still not fully defined, so I need to either add a vertical relationship here, which I'll do to get it fully defined, or I could have added symmetry again. I'm going to rotate around a bit before I exit this sketch. So I have my sketch fully defined. I'll right click and exit the sketch. And this time, I'm going to link the cut to the thickness of the sheet metal. And with the end condition blind, it doesn't tell me the depth of the hole. What it will do is whatever the thickness of the sheet metal is, it'll make sure that hole 
is that depth. So I'll say, okay, my holes are through. We'll go back to the isometric. I'll flatten the pattern out to have a look. Looks good. I'll save my work. And in the next video, we'll look at some sheet metal costing.